Hey everybody, welcome back to Dungreed. So we're back. We don't have very much money, but it's fine. We'll make it work. Um, so yeah, on stream, I managed to make it to find this lady here who has a key, which means the final boss I ain't listening to, by the way. Um, I don't think she's listening to me. Yes, okay, goodbye. Um, yeah, so we made it to the end of the game, kind of. We've unlocked the true final boss, I believe. Um, so I guess we should figure out what we're getting from the, the blacksmith and stuff and see if there's anything good we can work with. Some cloth armor. Mr. Man who has guns, we get the Colt, which is not very good, and the shop has nothing I can afford, sadly. Let's, uh, let's respect. we'll just use the base character today, I think, and let us reset and train. How about we try something a bit different? How about we try 20 Mystic, 10 Swiftness? So we don't get the invulnerable dash, but at least we get the double jump and the, you know, the faster attacks and stuff. Cool. Should be good. We have a lot of uh, crit and evasion to work with, which is nice. Let's just get in and see what's going on. So we're just going to try and find weapons as we travel. Try and get our blessing meter filled up so in the next runs we can have a good blessing. Maybe it's full. I should have checked. Actually, it might actually be full or close to full. I should never have got hit there. You hate to see it. So yeah, done great. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. I'm feeling very good. I think I know I've cracked the code, I think. And the code is use melee. I mean, use range, not melee. Melee can be good in the right circumstances, but I think for me, ranged is more my kind of guy. Um, I got hit again. You hate to see it. So yeah, ranged is more my kind of thing. I think we should try and get like a minigun flamethrower. Whenever I get a flamethrower, life is good. Oh, oh, the evasion's nice. Okay, very good. And yeah, we'll just start creating evasion. Like champions. Don't do it. He's gonna do it. He didn't do it. Oh, what do we have? We've got a chest over this direction. Maybe a weapon we can use. I'm not gonna use the Colt. Yeah, you know what? We'll use a longsword. That seems much better than what we have. Also has the Q. The Q is... Increases your crit chance for 15 seconds. I'm not sure how high it boosts the crit chance. But let's quickly see if we can get, uh, maybe some power, actually. I think a bit of power to start off's good, because we want to get decent power so our crits are a bit more spicy. Of course. But I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like we can make it reasonably far. I want to see, like, the fifth zone. Ideally. The flanged mace. You see? Cool. We'll use the flange to me. What's the Q on this? It uh, increases stun chance for three seconds. So I should fix this up here. Put this. I guess we're doing melee then. I didn't really want to do melee, but I guess that's what we have. You gotta work with what you got. You know? When life gives you the flanged mace, you make flanged mace aid lemonade. It, it has quite nice knockback. But we don't really need the damage. Oh, that's really good. That's super good. The shotgun's amazing. I'm a big fan of the shotgun. It's a ranged weapon. Um, hits fairly hard. Has a fast reload. When we're, well, I mean, you know, for the individual shots. For the cartridges. And a bit of the chain armor. Cool, okay. So our defense is now at 16. That's not bad as well. So one of the best runs I've had, I stacked a lot of defense. I had like 58 defense, I think. And um, it felt good. It felt good when I was getting hit. I was losing like three health at a time. Um, so keeping that defense reasonably high might be part of the puzzle. And uh, we'll just try and stack money. Hello, Croc. Do you have any a ring or something? Maybe a hockey ring, perhaps? Poison bottle, eye patch. A 1% chance to deal an additional 50% damage? That could be... Could be all right. Let's have a look at the blessing. How are we looking? Oh, we're almost there, actually. So let's toss in this and this, and I guess we can't toss in that. So the next one, we definitely have a decent blessing. I could have used the blessing here as well, but I think it's better to fill it up. So in the next run, we get something spicy. And with the 20 Mystic, we can select a good weapon to carry over as well, or a good item. Maybe it'll be the, um, what's it called? There's an item in the game where it gives you, like, all stats up. It's basically like the Magic Mushroom. I can't remember what it's called, but it's very good. It's very good, and I'd like to see it, if at all possible. So let's not buy any more food. Let's buy food in the next floor. I think it's sensible to do that. So we get, you know, better numbers, I suppose. Better numbers, bigger numbers. I didn't even check what the crit and evasion chances were for the uh, for the first food shop, but it's all right. Croc, would you have anything decent? The katana. I disagree. No katanas necessary. 
Throw in the horse, killing sword, um, and a shield. Cool. So we've got a mace and a shield, or the shooty gun. Shotgun's just too good, though. Like, you've noticed that our killing power is already much better than it was previously. Okay, watch the dogs. He's coming. And now he's de dead. Dead. Much. And also, there's a few... I, th I don't know if they're new items or not, but there's a new... I'm going to say it's new. It's a passive that makes your bullets way, way bigger. So with the shotgun, if we can get that... I think it's called, like, the bundle of fucking herbs or some shit. I don't fucking know. Something. It's got a name. When I see it, you'll know it. It's like a green pouch. It looks like a dime bag of the Mary Janes. The Marachuanas. And the boomerang. I'm not from Australia. I don't want no boomerang. What I want is big bullets and a lot of damage. Of course. Well, you've made a big mistake by jumping on that uh, that ledge. Big fella. How's our money looking? 3,000, not too bad, not too bad at all. Feeling good, feeling good. And I think with that boosted crit chance at the start, if we just get another tomato soup for a slightly higher bit of wrath, more power. Um, more power to fight the power. That's what I am saying. So, have we talked? We haven't talked about anime in this series, have we? <laughs> Shouldn't have fit it in every series. Um, the poisoned bottle, so poison effects can stack up to five times, plus a slightly faster attack speed. Not bad. Not great either, mind you, but not bad. Been watching Steins Gate. I, I watched it once, um, a few of the first episodes, like, I don't know, six months ago, and it didn't really click with me, but I've started watching it now. It's very good! See, once you get through the first couple of... I think this is an anime thing, by the way. For whatever reason, a lot of series is... They spend a lot of time setting up in the first few episodes, and it can be easy to get turned off early on. But once you get in a couple of episodes in, man, it's that's when it starts picking up. Same with Cowboy Bebop, in my opinion. The first couple of episodes a little bit slow, but once you get in there, it's the fucking good stuff, isn't it? So Steins Gate, been watching that. Um, I hear there's a Steins Gate Zero that I'm manically trying to avoid spoilers of. Look at me! St like, uh, last summer I was like, anyone that watches anime is a sad sack motherfucker. Now I'm the sad sack motherfucker. What happened to me? What has become of Big Tam? Oh no. Dodge! Yeah, yeah, fine. You best dodge. Or come at the king, you best not miss. Said one Omar in the greatest television series of all time. Well, I mean, the fifth season of The Wire kind of sucks, doesn't it? I mean, if we're being honest with one another, it's not very good. Neither's the fourth. Third's alright. Second's not very. The first season, though. The first season of The Wire might be the best television ever made. Boom, bang. And with that extra 20, I'm gonna get the small season bird. So we've got 17 for both crit and evasion. Our crit damage is oh, 106%. 10 wrath power. Uh, we could maybe up that number. Would be in our interest to do so. Let's tribute to you and you. What are you? Camping hatchet. Okay, not necessary. And we'll get rid of this idiot sword. Now, hopefully we find the the bot. Is it the bottle? No, it's the forge. Sorry, the uh, the anvil. If we find the anvil, we can up a weapon once. We can increase its stats or increase or add a stat to it. So if we could do the shotgun, maybe get some. I don't know. Extra damage, perhaps. Right. Get the full reload in and skeleton boys going down to fuck town. Population him. It's deserted aside from this boy. Oh no. Oh. Balls? No. Balls. Three knives. That's not bad actually. Four knives? What's going on? Does he do anything else? Five. Give me the five. Give me the five. There we go. Easy. Don't hit me. Don't touch me. Did that take health off me? Because if it did, that's not very cool. Not that it matters, because we'll get the big fairy. The hawk eating's nice. Plus 10 crit chance, I believe. And uh, that brings our crit up to 27. Now we're looking pretty good in the crit front. Um, we should see a lot of yellow numbers popping up. As we do. I think I'm getting faster with the first couple of floors as well. Like, we're starting to breeze through the early game. We don't have the space for food, do we? Nah, 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 nah. We'll be back, Horrorica. Yellow numbers, please. 
That's all I want to see. So we definitely need a tomato soup so our crits are more impactful. Um, because 100% of not very much is <laughs> not very much, you know what I'm saying? We want to see... Maybe 40 power would be a cool... A cool point to be on. Uh, poisonous Miramor. We get hit, we send out a poisonous thing. We're not going to use it though. We'll probably just tribute it to the, the shrine. But yeah, we want up our power because, you know, being able to hit hard, very important. Croc, any delights in the shop? Nothing really. Nothing, nothing, nothing you want to write home about. Nothing you're going to be like, wow, I need to buy that immediately. What about in here? Uh, that's not bad. So we don't really want the poison vial here, but the charm of power giving us 20 power. That kind of sorts out the power situation for now. We should be seeing bigger numbers again. Yeah, like a 40 crit there's nice. Just try and farm up these decent numbers. Don't do it. Don't do it! Lovely. Alright, dog. Your move. Cool. Okay, this is starting to come together. Uh, I'm not really sure about melee still. I think we'll shy away from melee. Keep on the shotgun bandwagon. The hobby horse. Yeah, see, that's what you want to see. Soon we're going to be getting those spicy shotgun one-taps from close range. And life will be good. Uh, silver ring? Is there anything I want to switch for the silver ring? More health and more power. Um, I think we'll keep the defense, though, for now. I, the idea would be finding, like, one um, dwarven armor. Yeah, just pop these in. Try and get that tribute up. One dwarf and armor would be good because it would take place... It, you know, it would consume one slot rather than the two slots both armor pieces have. I think one dwarf and armor is better than two of any other armor, maybe. Maybe not cowhide. Cowhide's pretty good. Oh, no. Hey! Hey! Cowhide's like 12 defense, I think. What hit me? Is that man's hitbox wildly long? He's show he's cheating, he's showing off. Okay. Uh, we could go and buy some food in a second. I think we'll wait. We'll wait one. We'll wait one and see what happens. So where to next? Uh, up from Croc. What is uphold? Many whelps. More dots. Even side. Handle it. We're fine. Never played World of Warcraft. Not once. But I still go in for a World of Warcraft meme now and again. Pretty good. People very passionate about raids. See, I've said this before, but if anyone's passionate about anything in life, doesn't matter what it is, I'm down to listen to them. You know, something infectious about people who are passionate about life, passionate about whatever it is they're into. You love that kind of stuff. People who are always, oh, this is shit all the time, everything's shit, this game sucks, oh, it's fucking, you know, you don't want to listen to those people all the time. It's grating, you know? Like, my own brain says that shit about me all day. I don't want to listen to anyone else doing it. You know? I want to hear someone being like, yo, this is the best Taco Bell burrito I've ever had in my life. You know, I'm not even interested in Taco Bell, but I'll listen to someone talk about it, you know? You feel me? Positivity is infectious, and it's good for the mind and body and soul, and I recommend it. Nailed positive mental attitude, eh? Wouldn't be a video without the Russian roulette, would it? <laughs> Always making an appearance. So let's go and buy some food, or at least look at what the numbers are. And if the numbers are good, we shall buy. Eh, mm, not bad evasion actually, but I think I'll just do the tomato soup for the power. So we've got forty-three power. You absolutely love to see it. And onward. Do need a little bit of health. Could do with a little bit of healing, but I think we'll be fine. It's, it's the odds and ends that I keep getting hit by, you know, the nonsense that I don't really... Uh, do I just... Nah, 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 nah. I was thinking, do I get rid of the cloth armor and get the iron armor? But I think having the... Wait, what? Oh, it's the chain armor we've got. This is, The iron armor's better. I'm gonna buy it. 
I think that's a good replacement. Do we keep this for the extra evasion? How about we just go with the big defense? So now we have like 26 defense, 28 crit, 15 evasion. We need to up that evasion number. Oh no. Play a little bit. A little tiny bit. We're not going for those. We're not shooting for those like 70, 80 evasion runs that used to exist. Please, sir. Have a heart. Boom. Bang. Bosh. He's got the pumpy. Nice. Okay, this is good. This is We're actually dealing quite a, a nice amount of damage for this stage of the game. Let's just check our numbers before we proceed. There might be more stuff we need. So the crit there is nice. That's a, a decent number of crit. The evasion, not so much, but... Let's just use the natural evasion that God gave us. Dodging. Bobbing and weaving. It's the most important thing. Don't do it. Oop. Uh, hey. Nice. More of those. More of them. Any fairy. I'll take any fairy. Send them to me. I did evade that. See, interestingly, I think his... Hitbox is quite far in front of him. I didn't know. I had no idea. So yeah, I think we're building around the shotgun. It's just too good not to. Having some range capabilities, especially with the speed that it shoots. And reloads. You know, because you can effectively just, like, spam, reload, and shoot. You know, it comes back pretty fast. In his face. See, we want to be at a point where one shot to the face will kill a man, like a real shotgun would. Because if you shot someone with a shotgun point blank, I think they would die. Uh, well, I mean, most of the time, you know. There's always the fringe case, like the man who was shot in the brain with a bullet and he, you know, he was fine. Well, I don't want to say fine. Maybe he'd have some, like, personality problems or something. I don't know. Plus, if you're in a position where you're getting shot in the face, you've probably made some poor life choices, and that's all on you, isn't it? You know? Oh, but Tom, what if someone broke into your house and just put a gun? Well, actually. Fair enough. I'll allow it. Not the breaking into homes and shooting people and stuff, but you know, the bad things happen to good people. It's just the way of the world, you know. But it's how we dust ourselves off and proceed from the badness that defines us as people. The long staff. More like the gone staff, because I ain't using it, man. Okay, good. So we're, we're up to full blessing, so the next one's gonna be a full blessing. In disguise. Really? One HP? Beautiful. Oh! He's cheating. He's not actually, he's just, you know, he's just better than me. <laughs> he has the aim to rival CSGO's Scream. Don't know why people still go on about Scream being a great CSGO player. All the man has is aim. I was watching some, and I don't mean to shit talk the guy, because he's obviously a professional player who's much better than me. But I was watching a, a game not so long ago, and he, he couldn't throw any nades. He kept trying to throw nades, and he was fucking them up. Like, That's, like, one of the most important parts of the game. You need to know your nades. Like, shooting's one thing, but it, not every game is deathmatch, you know? Like, if you're fucking up the easy smokes, then... You know, you need to get into a server. Make your own server. Kick all the bots and start fucking throwing nades. My good man. Oh, balls. Well, with that said, let us buy some food. I'm going to go with the crit. So we've got a crit chance of 34. Yes! And I think that number is percentage, isn't it? It's uh, increases chance to deal crit uh, critical chances 46%. And our evasion chance is 29. So we have almost a 50% chance to crit. Um, damage reduced by 25%. I like how it's given us more, you know, actual tangible numbers now. Rather than it being... Just a number that doesn't really make a lot of sense. Because 15.9, what does that mean? It means 29.7% evasion. Anyway, please, one or two fairies. One. 
Ah. Okay, the shotgun makes this fight rather easy because we don't need to be close up tanking any face shots from the ice icicles, the ice, the test icicles. Remember that man, the test icicles? Maybe not. Kind of a early 2000s. What I remember is people would be mad that the guy wore a Burzum t-shirt. They were like, what a poser, he's wearing a black metal t-shirt, he's not even a metal fan. <laughs> Because, you know, metal fans are like that. They think everything's for them and no one else is allowed to enjoy their particular brand of grimness from Norway. I disagree. I dodged that. You've seen it. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I dodged that one too. Don't die, Tom. That would be rather unbecoming of a man such as yourself. Don't do it. Okay. Easy. Easy. No problem at all. Didn't even break a sweat. The stone sword's not really doing anything for us. I wonder what the blue stuff is. Because we seem to absorb the blue when we kill something, but I'm not really 100% not really sure what it is. I think it's just, you know, for shits and giggles. I like how they've changed the poison to be purple. Because now you know what's grass and what ain't. Don't do it. And the great sword. Sure. It's not quite the spy hander, but it'll do, you know. Fodder for the... I'm not going to buy the, the carbine. I don't think it's good. Going to have a drink, though, while we sit here and chit-chat with Croc. You know, how's your day, Croc? You doing anything good this week? How's business treating you? How's, uh, how's life? G good meat, I have more pressure. Of course it is. Very good. You'll love to hear it. Get this man out of my face. Oh no, the evasions though. So our nemesis here is the shield boys he throws from behind. Oh, Tom, you're gonna die now. You're gonna die because you're not doing well. I think we need more damage. We need more power. At least we have one fairy. Oh fuck. Really? Maybe this is better for us. In these situations, like when they're running at us, we use the, the mace, since it has slight knockback. See, I'm starting to think a little bit outside the box. The big fairy is often the finest. So only enemies like this, this is fine. But, oh, fuck. No. Nay. Negative, boy. Oh, I hate this room. This room s can suck all of my penis at once. Ah, oh, now that's not bad. The Swatcher. Um, well, shit. I think we need to. It's, so the Watcher will help against ranged attacks. Nice and slow now. There must be something in here. A reason for this all to exist. <laughs> the long staff. Okay, then. Sure thing. You take what you can get in this life. And if it's the long staff we're getting, so be it. Maybe upping our chance to stun with the Q. Get out of my face, you dirty snake. Just keep dodging, keep moving, moving, bobbing and weaving, you know, keep them guessing, keep them honest. If we can get through the boss of this floor, I'll feel reasonably accomplished, because he, he, he can be tough, I don't know if we have quite the setup for it. I feel certainly we're lacking in the- oh fuck. Ah! In the ranged trinket category, like- Oh, come on now, why is he thrown behind himself? It doesn't make sense physically, emotionally. No, Tom. Don't don't get angry. It's happy time. This is video game time. This is fine. I got hit because I played poorly. It's on me. I am the one with egg on my face. So we should definitely go back this way and get the fairy. It's only a small one, but, you know. Every little helps. 
So just me under that. Not really do very much. I guess we only healed for 10. I'm not going to buy health, though. I feel like it's poor practice to buy health. We want to be buying tangible stats, not health. Um, that's nice evasion. So now our evasion's up to 41%. Crits at 46. We're keeping it balanced. Eh? Sure. Your power increases. By how much, though? I think the red pill, man, he just gives you a pill that... It'll fill your stats up somewhat, but... I th is it permanent? Is the red pill... Is it permanent? Also... Is it Reddit? Which one is it Reddit's obsessed with? Is it red pill or blue pill? I can never remember, because... Being a man who's confident in his own abilities in life, I don't really subscribe to that. Horse shit of, you know... The world being against men. Because, <laughs> you know, I'm not a coward. Um, yeah, I don't really understand. Is it the red or the blue pill? I can never remember. I don't really spend a lot of time reading... Reddit conspiracy theories. Ah, oh, he's... Oh, no, it's the... Oh, the evasion's kicking in hardcore. Big style. Sorry, it's just my daily sass against Reddit. I don't hate Reddit. I just think, you know... Sometimes they get a little bit carried away with their own neckbeardery. No, 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 no. And we all know one thing in life is, you know... You may have a neckbeard, but don't become the neckbeard. Respect yourself. Stay clear of the neckbeard. And life will be cool to you. Uh, hmm. I do declare. We must leave. Can't really afford food either. Let's just go. Let's just... We'll just go for it. Big style. The good news is at least we have a, f a full floor to figure out what's going on before we have to fight a boss. If we die, like I said, we die. All you can do in life is try. You do your best. And then when your best isn't good enough, you cry in the shower, remembering the good times. They ain't got nothing. They've got nothing for the shotgun strategies here. This guy with the shields. No one ever tell him to use a shield and a sword. You know, might be more beneficial to his causes. Defense is fine. Don't get me wrong. But being too defensive might be your downfall. And they do say a good defense is a good offense, do they? Is that what they say? Oh, I don't really know. I haven't read Confucius or Sun Tzu or whoever the fuck's supposed to know about war and shit. I just read manga. I just read Japanese cartoons as well. That's what I read. About a man with a big fucking sword. I disagree wholeheartedly. Good, sir. Get them out, man. Ooh. Ooh. This is, this is fine, I'm not dead yet. Okay. Now, two chests. And blunderbuss. And a, another Russian roulette. Beautiful. I think I might die soon. I wouldn't hold your breath. This might be a short one. Okay, oh. oh. Oh, I should be using this, shouldn't I? Fuck you, snake. But he's bouncing, he be bouncing. Oh no, I'm dead. I've just died. You hate to see it. Not like this. Not like this. Not like this. No, fucking. No, I'm not dead. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Confirmed shout not like this loud enough will keep you alive in life. No hugs. No hugs from the anime lady. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, we're back in it. Oh no. No, no, no. He does poison. Oh, fuck you. Balls. 
Cox. Stun his ass. You've made a big mistake. Show me the back. Oh, again. You really do love to see it. It's the run that keeps giving. Oh, okay. From the depths of despair back to fucking feeling good. Lovely. The evasions are doing me the world of good. Oh! I was like, is that gonna be a fairy? A chest? Nah, no, it's just a green lizard boy. Oh! Okay. Manageable. Let's finish the floor, buy some food, and we'll fight this boss. No more getting hit, Tom. No more getting hit. You've taken enough hits in your life. It's time for you to do the hitting. Now, if we bought the katana earlier, that might be a good pick. But um, I think we'll just sell some stuff here because we can't really tribute it. Might as well sell it for the monies. Plus, Croc needs a bit of stock to work with. I'm kind of thinking the... Oh, it's the Thunder Kunai. If it was the Throne Knife, I'd consider it, but... The Thunder Kunai. Not so much. Not so much. Uh, the more to the right. Pondy right-hand side. Boom. Kobe, one for you. Miss. Under the exit. So let's go back, buy some food, and we'll fight this boss. I'm expecting death. I'm not going to buy any food that heals. Because I think it's it's a poor strategy. I think it's better that we go in with, like, like extra crit. Probably more power, though. I think more power is the smart idea. Because 39 power is still not very much. I'll buy one food. I'll buy one healing food, because we can afford to buy the 21 heal. It's 15 space. It'll keep us alive, hopefully. Ooh. Okay. Quickly reviewed the stats. 46% chance to crit, 40% chance to evade, 18% damage reduction. That's not too bad. Alright then, it's Tanook Tanook. The big boy himself. It's Godzilla! And he's got an axe. He's got a gun. Oh no, it's very much ripping peps, pepper deppers, oh no, rippy dippies, show me, oh, no. oh fuck, don't change the gun Tom, oh no, it's very dead, <laughs> but that's okay, what do we keep, um, what would be good to take into the next run? Uh, flanged mace, maybe, and we can focus on a. Ma I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a yellow, so I think we should go with the flanged mace. Fair enough. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment, all the usual good stuff, and of course, I'll see you tomorrow.